Hello guys, first of all let me thank you for joining this crash course of which I behave for beginners. Before anything let me tell you a little bit about myself. As Kirog once said, let me introduce myself. My name is Emiliano. I've been working as a QA and as a tester for quite some time already, almost 10 years. I've been working in different companies. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of them. I wrote them just in case you care, but the point that I want to highlight here is let's say a funny story or a crazy story that I'm from Argentina, I've lived my whole life in Argentina but right now I'm living in Poland <laughs> a company hired me and brought me here what I'm trying to point out here is that with testing you can accomplish things my goal in life was to get to know the world and thanks to testing I'm living that dream actually I'm fulfilling that dream so that's why I decided that if I can do it maybe I can help someone else to do that so that's why I decided to do this course to share this knowledge that I have and who knows maybe in the near future we are working together somewhere in the world what should you expect out of this out of this course I wrote a couple of items here and I'm going to explain it one by one. The first one, I'm going to tell you when to implement automation and when should we just stick to manual testing. I'm not going to deep dive into it because I, my main focus, our main focus, I want it to be just to behave this cool framework uh, that I'm going to teach you about. But anyway, I'm gonna in the next chapter, I'm gonna tell you when, or based on my experience, when we should implement this automation and when should we just stick to manual testing. As I said before, our main goal, the most important thing of this course, is JBehave. And let me first warn you, it's not so easy to implement. It actually took me quite a while to understand it. I had to read the whole, the main page, and a tons of blogs, tons of blogs. But I think that I found a way to implement it from scratch in a sort of an easy manner. So I would like to simplify the things for you, and you're gonna be able to implement it on yourself, by yourself, on the project that you're working on. Also, I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna tell you how to integrate this framework with Selenium just in case you want to or need to test some UI. As a matter of fact, we're going to write a couple of test cases to test a UI. A login is an interesting test that I'm pretty sure you're going to use eventually. And last but not least, the whole point of this course is for you to become more than a manual tester. I am a manual tester but I would like to consider myself as a sort of a hybrid because we all know that manual testing is really important, we all know that but nowadays it's kinda it's starting to be sort of forgotten so what do we have to do? We have to improve our skills and JB Heavy is a good way to start so with no further ado, let's, let's get our hands on this JB Heavy thing see you in the next chapter